We love the Hyundai i30, so much so that we named it Car Buyer Car of the Year 2012. So let's see if this estate version's practical credentials match up to the hatchback. Before that though, we will have a quick summary of what's great about the shared features. Being an estate version, it is obviously slightly larger and longer, but this doesn't distract from the i30's good looks. Wide seats and plenty of leg and headroom mean rear seat passengers are happy. Matt reviewed the hatchback version and managed to turn it into a mobile drinks vending machine. Lots of points being scored for the chilled glove box. The dash also scored highly for having lots of soft touch material and generally looking stylish but at the same time being ergonomically designed. But the biggest prize has to go to this boot. It is one of, if not the largest in class, which is no surprise because the hatchback had a big boot as well. It's done away with the high load lip and you've got this easy threshold to load stuff in and out, as well as secret storage compartments and useful D-rings. Well, the good news is that extra weight and size of the estate version does not have an adverse effect on how easy it is to drive. The controls are still really light, the brakes really sharp, and the slightly firm suspension gives the right balance between comfort and handling. However, it does affect fuel economy, but not badly. You can expect to get almost 70 to the gallon and pay 20 pounds instead of nothing for your car tax. And that's for the 109 brake horsepower, 1.6 litre diesel, if fuel efficiency is at the forefront of your mind. Unfortunately, it carries some of the same negatives as the hatchback as well. This pillar, for example, gives a restricted view of the road. The sun visor gets in the way of the rear view mirror. And some of these buttons are so far away, I feel like I need to send a message to the button to say I'll be there in a minute. And Hyundai, despite being most improved brand over the last 10 years, that is not reflected in the used market because they do tend to suffer with their resale values. And as for being fun to drive? Well, I'm afraid the Ford Focus beats it there. But it is cheaper than one of those and has a bigger boot. It also woos you with its reliability and five-year unlimited mileage warranty. All in all though, it is a worthy contender and a smart choice for someone who rates the hatchback but would like an estate. It ticks a lot of boxes and it charms you with its style and good looks.